Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're heading up to Houghton, Hancock, Michigan to fish walleyes and pike. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> neon, neon. These fish are all in our harbors. Close to 14 there. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, I'll tell you what, it's kind of a mild day for the middle of November, and uh, we're up in the UP, uh, in the Houghton-Hancock area, and Ron Johnson, a pro bass angler, good friend of mine, you actually live up in this area, and uh, this is pretty good walleye smallmouth territory, huh? Yeah, all these areas up here, you know, I moved up here about three years ago, and in between all the traveling and the tour events that I do, I've spent a lot of time throughout the summer months, and I've been visiting a lot of lakes just littered throughout the whole upper peninsula of Michigan. And the beauty about it is most of them are virtually untouched. It's like being in the middle of Canada most of the time. Yeah, well, there aren't many guys out in the middle of November, but we got some guests with us today. I've got uh, actually three professional anglers with me yourself. We got Brett Jolly, we got Josh Tigan. So we'll go with plastics and spoons and hair jigs, see what happens, right? That's right. All right. Hey, folks, we'll show you more about what we're using and how we're using it. All that coming up right after this. holiday why not give them the gift of their first ride now during the yamaha let's ride holiday sales event you can make their dream a reality with zero percent apr for 12 months on all ttrs and the legendary pw50 there's never been a better time to make their first ride their best ride Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. A lot of the people that watch your show, I mean, those are the type of customers and clients that we have, right? I mean, good people, care about their community, they're passionate about the outdoors. That's just been a way to have a bond with somebody in a relationship. To truly tell a, a client's story to a jury or a judge and be persuasive, I really think you gotta be able to walk in their shoes and, and, and be able to explain why what happened to them matters. To start our day with a what do you got oh, there, Johnny? Bass. What does he got? Small Big small mouth mouth All right, good smallmouth bass. Way to go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is a nice fish. Hey, we'll take it. Any smallmouth's a good smallmouth. Hey, They're I'll nice tell you what though, it nice is interesting, folks. Here. Being in November like that, that fish was sitting in what, Jolly, about 12 feet of water? 12 feet, yeah. I mean, you can see this fish just choked it. We uh actually pulling a uh a jigging spoon for walleyes, and uh, this walleye or this smallmouth just inhaled it. So, hey, here we go back in the boat, Brett Jolly. Nice. I don't know what this feels like. If it's a walleye, it's a good one. I think it might be probably a smallmouth bass, but we will see here. What do we got there, Ooh, John? Walleye. Ooh, nice walleye there, buddy. That is there a nice go. fish there, pal. And I'll tell you what, you know, when you get a, a late fall like this, Brett, it is so much fun to come out and do this. There's no boats out anywhere right? this time of year, right? Yeah. And that's a nice walleye, oh, isn't it? Oh, good eater. And, um, you know, there's a lot of places to fish up here in the UP, aren't there? Yeah, there's a ton of places. I come up here every year with my wife and kids on vacation. There's fantastic walleye fishing. You know, go out on the big lake and catch lake trout, whatever. It's, it's great up here. As I mentioned, folks, I caught that walleye in about 10 to 12 feet of water. But this is the type of vegetation that we're fishing. And for, for November, Brett Jolly, these weeds are still pretty green. Now, weeds like this will hold fish, right? Yeah, green weeds, anytime you can find them in the fall, are gonna be full of walleyes. Uh, that, that They hold the most oxygen, and the bait fish will be in there, the walleyes will be right in it. 
Ooh, Ronnie's hooked up now. I and, jerk and me. That's kind of a nice system you did, Ron. You just drifted over a weed flat and then you put it on spot lock when you get a yes, bite, right? And we got ourselves a big walleye, guys. For this for this place, this is a really nice walleye. There we go. Now there is a beautiful walleye pike there, Ronnie. It sure is. And what's that on, buddy? You just throwing um, a crankbait. Actually bait. picked up a hard jerk bait. Yeah. I mean we uh we've been getting a few bites on the soft plastic, right? Yep. So um I think uh, Jolly and I were just talking about maybe picking up one of these here. Okay, while well, Ron is getting that walleye out of the net, I've got one on here too. I'm kind of hoping this is another walleye. He's fighting good. There we go. Whoa, you got him, Jolly? Good got job. Him. Pass him up there, or, or let's go hold these up together. Folks, I'll tell you what, that's five bites, right, Josh, in a, in a, in a matter of seconds. But uh, that's not a bad pike either. No, no. We'll hold these that. up together. So, Ron, we had Josh caught that pike, and then we put it in spot lock, and we've had three bites right away. Three bites, almost yeah. three casts in a row on different baits, a soft jerk bait, and this one here you can see just choked a hard jerk bait. So uh, that's actually a really good walleye for this lake, John. You spent a lot of time up here in the UP, and anytime you can pull a nice three-pound walleye like that is awesome. Look at that, Josh. Hey, this is, this is a lot of fun. I mean, seriously, in November, right? Yeah. No, it really is. Does it feel like a walleye? No, it's a snake pike. Well, a little pike, John. Yeah, that isn't that something though. You got the walleyes and the and the pike swimming around together. You know, that's yeah. not that unusual. Yeah, exactly. And this time of year, it's just fun to catch fish. You know, ice is coming, but no one else out here. Hey, Ron, you've been uh, eating a few of those pike. Been yeah, these good? pike, I'll tell you what, John, if I was to fillet these things up, put them side by side and uh, some breading, you would not be able to tell the difference. They are super clean and uh, just an awesome fish to eat. A lot of guys just throw them back, you know, um, but once you learn how to fillet them, it's actually not too bad. Just a few extra cuts and you got yourself some beautiful white meat. Another pike aroo? Probably. Probably. I hope it's not, but... You never know, buddy. Could no. be a walleye. That's a pike. No, I'll tell you what. That's what happens, though, this time of year, folks. A lot of those pike, Josh, that suspend out in deep water all summer, after turnover, they'll actually use these weeds and feed up pretty heavy this time of year, right, Josh? Yeah, exactly. They're all up here for the same reason, feeding on perch and... Uh... Anywhere you find green weeds, you're going to find predators. They're Isn't that a nice build walleyes. on that fish? That is, actually. You know, That's going to grow up to be a pretty good one. Got one here, Jal. Let me see. I'm hoping it's not a pike. Man, this is thick weeds we're fishing for this time of year. Got to be a pike. Not a bad one, though. Man, is that amazing, the number of pikes <laughs> sitting in 8 to 12 feet of water. Now, Josh is hooked up. He lost them. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. I just got bit off twice on $20 crankbaits. I mean, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know, that they're not trophies, but isn't that fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they fight hard, and these are actually really good eating fish. I know. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Mm-hmm. You going to clean them? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The old pro bass angler up there in the front of the boat. What are you catching, walleye or pike? Well, you know, I switch. I can catch walleye too, John. It's a nice walleye. Oh yeah, there you go. That's that. Now that's another beautiful eating size walleye. Now, Ron, are you surprised that these pike and these walleyes are swimming right in the same area? No, I mean at this time of year. Um, you know, it's cold. These fish out here at this body of water in are, are looking for forage and they're in cover. And out here, you got to find the cabbage weeds. You get into the clumps and patches of the cabbage weeds and you're going to find fish. Everything hangs down there. Jolly. I actually went to an eight ounce jig because I was getting stuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I and was that thinking was like about my doing first the same. cast. Yeah. There nice we walleye. go. Nice. Whoa. Ooh, stay away. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But seriously, went to that. Uh, Eight ounce jig head, which Jolly will show you here. Yeah, oh, and, he ate it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's the slower fall, right? And right. you can keep it kind of on top of the weeds. Exactly. Yeah, it drops a little bit slower. It stays out of those weeds. It doesn't get tangled up as bad. And here's what we're talking about: that eight ounce. Uh, I think that's a, a Acme or Kalen's darter head yep. jig. Yep. Yep. And that falls a little different. Yeah. Yeah. It, it darts a little bit more with that that darter head jig. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a nice wall? I buddy? beautiful. Back of the boat again, Jolly. Here he comes, here he comes, oh, buddy. I'm sorry. Spike. Pike, Pike, Piker. Pike. <laughs> wow. Pikeroo. You know, this would be a neat place. You know, you've got Nash, your, your yeah. little buddy, who's uh, 11 years old. 12. 12. 12 now. Wouldn't he love this? Oh, he'd have fun. I mean, these pike are fun to battle, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd love it. 
And you know what's nice too this time of year is to be able to use plastics and not fool around, you know, digging for minnows and all that. Oh yeah, you know, especially when it's cold, sticking your hand in a minnow bucket. Yeah, you having fun? I'm having a great time, John. Look at that guy up there. Jolly, aren't you impressed? I'm extremely impressed. Yep, we handed the guy duties over to the big Ron <laughs> Johnson, and he's sure showing us how to do well, it. Well, I think we got some weight here, but it does not feel like a walleye. I mean, it's just too heavy. What nice do we got? Oh, my nice gosh. Walleye. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Look at that. All right, man. I, uh, I guess I underestimated myself on this one, huh? You know, it is kind of funny. The walleyes are fighting really kind of hard like a pike, aren't they? Well, this one was. I mean, he slammed it really good. And... Uh, as you can see, I mean, they're choking this down. You a believer in that jerk minnow now? I, you know, you turned me on to this, self-admittedly, John Gillespie is the king of jerk minnows. And uh, he turned me on to this many years ago, this snap jigging. Anytime you get into a walleye fishery, you're doing yourself a disservice if you do not give this a try. Right, John? And that's a nice fish. It's a beautiful walleye. This is a good walleye anywhere, good eater. Anything bigger than this, uh, we usually do a pretty good job of letting them all go, right, John? Attention ice fishermen, big news. That's right, Blake. Fleet Farm will present a Facebook live event on December the 9th at 10 a.m. It'll be live from the Fleet Farm store in Oconomowoc. Pros like Tom Boldy, Brian Brosdale, Matt Johnson, myself, and many others will be on hand to report current ice conditions from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and North Dakota, plus up-to-date fishing reports. Get ideas about where to go, get the latest ice fishing tactics, and check out the new ice fishing innovations. It's the kickoff of the Fleet Farm Deals and Reels sales extravaganza. The live event will be held on Fleet Farm's Facebook page. Make sure you tune in December the 9th at 10 a.m. Again, we're live on the Fleet Farm's Facebook page December the 9th at 10 a.m. And stick around for a while at the Oconomowoc store. You and I are going to do a meet and greet from uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come talk fishing. All right, all I, right, Ronnie. You know we're doing it. And you know we've only been what out about two hours. Yeah, this is another nice walleye. Is it? There you go. Another now, nice funny. keeper size walleye. We should tell the folks that we kind of touched on it before. When you're drifting these weed flats and you get a bite. Put that spot lock on and fan cast the area, right? Yeah, you really should. Um, one thing I have learned uh, is, you know, when you do catch one of these walleyes, especially the water's a little cooler, in the summertime, you'll pop one out of these weeds, and then what will happen is they will actually move about 30, 40 feet. They kind of sweep around in the weeds sometimes, and you can just keep casting around and relocate them. They'll stay in a general area. The water's a little cooler, so I don't know. You know, we're, we've been spot locking the same spot for a little bit, and you can sometimes catch multiples in that same area before you have to pick up and go. But, yeah, the spot lock is... Is, uh, is definitely a must-have. Oh, Jolly, let's hope this one's a walleye, buddy. Caught a little pike last time. That's a walleye. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that walleye there. Oh, there's oh, nice oh. walleye, John. Now, there is a walleye, man. Middle of November, jerk minnow fishing in green cabbage, huh, Jal? Yeah, that's, uh, it's definitely working. You know, and do you think that that lighter jig does make a difference? Though? I do, too. I, I do. Um, in fact, I need to switch. Yeah. But, but yeah, that eighth ounce jig, it gets falls right down in those weeds without getting hung up. Now, the time you go to a quarter, folks, is if you got wind. We Yep, fishing a little deeper. Right. Yeah. But I mean, isn't that a beauty right there, pal? That's a very nice fish. That's going in your frying pan. You betcha. We were fishing in Houghton Hancock, Michigan, a five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. I'll be your beast of burden. A friend in unfriendly situations. Stumps, roots, rocks. Throw me in and watch me swim. Mother Nature may be tough, I'm tougher. I'll take you with grit and guts, beat, glitz, and glamour. Where the fish are worth the fight. If you ask me, the bigger the question marks, the better the quest. Folks, you, you see us talking about the Johnson Pump washdown kit every week. On a charter boat, pontoon boat, any boat, it's really a great thing to have. Now, you guys get a lot of blood on your hands, we so do. what do you do? John, this washdown pump right here, the Johnson, just 
spray it right off. And obviously you got quite a bit of blood on the back deck and this thing will take care of it. So you actually use it while we're out here fishing so the customers don't get blood and everything on them. Exactly. And again, that's the Johnson Pump Washdown Kit. You yep. love it? Love it. Eagle Claw, the pick of the week. The Eagle Claw Pistol Grip Hook Remover is an item everyone should have in their boat. Eagle Claw, the only hook made right here in the USA. Hey Josh, you know, uh, when you get this in, I gotta ask you a question, but is it walleye or pike, it buddy? It is a walleye. All right. Nice job there, Joshers. All right. Hey, you know, the reason Josh is fishing with us today is he got a big old buck the other night and uh, with a bow, and we're looking at a picture of it now. That was a pretty exciting moment for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the best experience I've had in the woods hunting. I mean, it was a really big buck. It was on public land, which made it even more special, and uh, I'd been after him for a while, so. 20-yard shot? 20-yard shot. He only went about 75 yards. Boy, that is a beautiful animal. Congratulations. Yeah, And somebody you. else just yeah. got one. No, but seriously, <laughs> and then and you're walleye fishing today. So well, well, exactly. That's why. Now I don't have to worry about bull hunting anymore. Pretty good week, right? I love it. Great week. You know you're using the right bait. Where's that jerk minnow? Yeah, I can't I even see it. On. Josh Tigan taking a day of vacation, and what is he doing? Going fishing. What do we got there, Ron? Can you see it? It looks like he's got himself a nice pike. Oh, a yeah, nice that's pike. a nice that's pike there. Chunky. Nice one. Wow, Josh, that's a nice fish there, buddy. Yeah, I'll take him. You know? Beautiful pike. Hey, hey, we got tomorrow. We only had about four hours today, so I think we come back and repeat. What do you think, guys? I think you got a good plan. Sounds great to me. Yeah. You know, ice is going to be coming soon, so you treasure all these last days of open water, right? No doubt. It's football season, and if you're looking for a quick and easy hors d'oeuvre, I got the thing for you. It's the Johnsonville Rope Sausage. It's pre-cooked, made with 100% premium pork. All you have to do is cook it on the pan until it's golden brown, and you can serve it with your favorite dipping sauce. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That is so good. Johnsonville Rope Sausage. Find it at your favorite retailer today. All right, day two, Jolly. We sure had a great afternoon oh, yeah. yesterday, but uh, woke up this morning when we put the boat in, 29 degrees. So this time of year, your best bite can come when it warms up a little bit? Yeah, a lot of times afternoons in the fall are the best. You know, that water temp comes up a degree or two and the fish get more active. Hey, what are you, now you're using- Oh, I got a big bass. Oh, a big bass, <laughs> big bass. Grab that net up there, guys. All right, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, is that a dandy jolly? Yeah. That is a beautiful fish, buddy. Nice. Nicely done. Nice. Yeah, let's get the hooks out cool. and show the folks. Well, we've caught a bunch of small pike, but yeah. that's the first beautiful fish oh, of the that's day. Oh, a dandy, yeah. And, and again, you know, these green weeds, man, all the game fish are following the bait up in here. Yep. And look at the belly on that thing, That's Joe. a fatty. What do you think that is, four, four yeah, and a half? Yeah, it's probably a four pounder. Yeah. 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 And he hit that jerk minnow. Yeah, he just crushed it. Nicely done, buddy. <laughs> you started it our day. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Ron, what do you got, buddy? Man, another pike. Well, pike. that's awesome, though. I mean, these, between the walleyes, here he is. Chunky. Oh, Joshy, look at that guy, buddy. That's a beautiful pike right there, folks. It is. And the nice thing about, you know, using these plastics this time of year, folks, is not having to deal with live bait or rebate, you know? Yeah, it makes it really, really easy. I mean, we've we've tangled with a few of these this morning, and uh, as you can see, they're really healthy. We're, we're obviously after walleyes, but these are definitely nice bonus fish anywhere, hey? Oh, they're fun. Yeah, really pretty. Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Adam Drafinski of Green Bay, Wisconsin, caught this 30-inch walleye on the Fox River using a Rapala. John Kresek of Antioch, Illinois, caught the 72-inch sturgeon on the Wisconsin River using a minnow. Jerry Stroik of Kewaskum, Wisconsin, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on Big St. Germain using a pop bar. Bruce Frentz of Lake Villa, Illinois, caught this 44 and a half inch northern pike on Tessup Lake using a vibrato. And this week's first kid winner is Colton Coppernoll of Lindenhurst, Illinois, caught this 11 inch hybrid bluegill on a lake using a waxworm. And Olivia Koblinski caught this 52 and a quarter inch muskie on Lake Superior on a bait.
Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $50 on the Lakes and Rivers six-sided insulated ice shack on sale for $499.99. And save $50 on the Strike Master 8-inch 40-volt lithium laser auger on sale for $549.99. Folks, I'm excited to be at Clam headquarters in Rogers, Minnesota. Lucas, this new X600 hub shack is incredible. What, what impresses me most of all is the door. Yeah, you know, the new Max Entry door system is obviously the biggest deal with our hub shelters this year. This is the biggest door in the industry, 38 inches wide, super easy for getting gear in and out of your shack, not tripping over things and all that. I love too how you elevated that zipper off the ice. One of the things we wanted to make sure when we designed this door is that we were able to fully bank in the shelter and still be able to use the big door. No, I'm impressed. Again, this is the X600. This is the X600. We have this available in a 400, 500, 600, and we have an ice team edition of these that includes sewn-in interior lighting. Awesome. Check it out, folks, at clamoutdoors.com. I'm with my buddy Len at Amsoil, and I just want to let you know I've had my car for a very long time. So I want to make sure it maintains good mileage, keeps us clean, and I still have horsepower. Does Amsoil have a product for that? Surprisingly enough, Blake, we do. For all of that? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Performance Improver is going to be the product that you're looking for. Okay. It's deposits that actually create the issues that you're talking about. So if you can keep the engine from building deposits, then you will help fuel economy. You'll make good power, so you're going to win those races. And keep it clean. And it keeps everything <laughs> clean. So Amsoil Performance Improver is what you're looking for. Awesome. For more information, go to amsoil.com. Hey, here we go. Let's see if it's the right kind. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. it is what do we got, right Josh? Kind. Walleye. There we go. Nice, nice job. <laughs> kind of interesting, Ron. You know, we came back to the same spots we were yesterday afternoon, and they weren't biting. We moved to a new spot. I think it's just kind of time of day, like Brett said earlier. You yeah, know? you're 100% right. I mean, uh, you know, up here, we're just going to rotate through a bunch of areas. We're finding weeds and catching a mixture of different fish, Hold mouth and pike. Yeah, but, I'm, you know, another, what like, a good eating size fish, too. Oh, and, yeah. And just a beautiful looking colored fish but we'll, we'll get into them like you said it's a timing deal and uh, I have a feeling we're gonna pull up on a spot and hammer a bunch of them out. Ooh, Ron's got something big on here huh? Yes I, I caught him pretty deep I'm not sure what it is. Okay Most well another, let's see what it is. Oh it's a nice walleye. Oh there we go beautiful walleye nice there walleye. Ronnie. Nice yeah, that, that is a I gorgeous. want the folks to take a look at the color on this fish. And, and Rod, since you live up in this yeah. area up here and Actually, fish yeah. up here quite often, you know, Portage Lake is one of your favorites, right? It is, for a lot of variety of reasons. It, I mean, it does have a lot of the bigger walleyes um, in it. Uh, you know, you have that water that constantly flows through Superior into the Keweenaw Bay. You can attack everything from, you know, pike to really big walleyes, trophy walleyes certain times of the year, big per uh, big smallmouth. Yeah, it's a fisherman's Everything. utopia up yes. here, isn't it? It is, but you know, there are days, John, where I'm in the Upper Peninsula from here over to Marquette, and I'll hit four or five lakes in a day because a lot of them are, you know, under 500 acres, 800 acres, and you can break down a body of water really quick. And um, you know, just do a little research, find out which ones have walleyes, and, and almost all the ones that you go to that have some walleyes, you know, just spend a little bit of time, you can catch beautiful fish like this, and we don't have the pressure. Do you see another boat out here today? Jalaru, all right. Hey buddy, I'm. You know we got pike biting all over the place today. Yeah, and that is. is that's a pike. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, a decent pike. But it is interesting, Brett. You know we're fishing basically the same stuff we fished yesterday afternoon with all the walleyes. Yeah, and they just don't seem to be around, or they're not. I think biting. they're just not biting. It might be this high pressure and wind. Yeah. bright sunny sky. Well, but, that's a fatty. Yeah, that's a nice pike, isn't no. it? Nothing wrong with that. No, I'd actually come out here and target those because they're fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and pike out of cold water are pretty amazing to eat. Well, let's try them. I'm gonna. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. 20% off select Ice Armor by Clam, Ice Fishing Apparel, and Accessories on sale starting at $11.99. Hey, here we go in the back of the boat here. 
actually slow down my retrieve. Whoa, Jolly! Oh, Jolly, what do we do here, buddy? Right. Trying okay, to come man. up and over. Whoa, he's, oh, oh. he's underneath the talon there. Yeah, yep, try to get your rod tip up, oh, down and out. Down and out? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's why I have a professional guide with me. Hey, that's a nice pike there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. Yeah, kind of interesting there, you know. Ron said we got to move to a certain area, and what happens? We caught one. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that an eater size? Yeah, that would be a great eating size pike. And out of this cold water, I love eating pike. Hey, you know, we've had a fun two days, though, haven't we, buddy? Yeah, we've had a great time. Fishing was a little slow today, but yesterday was awesome. Yesterday was really good. Hey Blake, what are you doing uh, Saturday, December the 9th? I'm going to be with you at the Fleet Farm Store in Oconomowoc. Oh, that's right. Come on in, folks. From 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Blake and I will be doing a meet and greet. We can talk about ice fishing. We can talk about Christmas gifts for ice fishermen. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, come see us at the Fleet Farm Store in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, oh, yes. look at the head on that. And look at that mouthful of weed. Yes. Look at that pike. Are you having fun with the tip oh, boats? Having a great time. Love Beaver Dan. Oh, look at that, Blake. Oh, Holy cow. Oh my God. Look at that pike, Blake. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this oh. pike. Oh my gosh. That is a trophy pike right there, pal. Oh, Oh man, is that, that gorgeous. Look at this guy, folks. This is a beauty. Oh, wait till you see the tummy on Look this at the guy. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Well, I think up here in the UP, this is our last day on open water. You yeah, agree? I think so. It's going to start getting pretty cold. But I am going to have one more open water deal with you. We'll fish somewhere on the Bay of Green Bay or the yeah. tributaries, right? Yeah, Before we'll the... definitely get out. That fall bite's good. All right, buddy. Hey, thank you. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. Don't know we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.